Welcome to the Kathy Raley Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson Women's Lacrosse head coach Kathy Raley and coach season opener versus ninth-ranked Salisbury. A tough one to swallow there at the end. You fall 11-10 in overtime. But a lot of things, positive things to probably take away from that game. Absolutely. You know, we're going to take the positives away here. I think that we kind of show that we have a pretty good fast break and we have a pretty good slow break. Uh, we have work to do in the settled offense component of things. Um, I thought we did fine on the draw. I think one of the big, biggest takeaways from me is that we have a top 10 team defense. Um, and that is something that is just so wonder, you know, we've been working forever to, to kind of have that, to kind of get that all to gel together. So I think when I look at the positives of that, you know, I, I, I'm taking away that that was a great experience for our girls and boy, our future is bright. Yeah. One of the new rules this year is that 90 possession clock. Mm -hmm. How do you think that factored into the game at all? I think it factored enormously into the game. You know, we're, we're a smaller team this year, not by design, but just crazy things happening. And, and because we're a smaller team, we don't have the depth that maybe some of the other teams we're going to see in the top 10 do. And this time change or this shot clock change really makes a team want to be deep. You want to have three midfields. You want to have four or five subs to go in on both ends of the field on a regular basis. Right now, we just don't have that depth that we would like, but we have an enormous class coming in for, two, uh, for next fall, and I think all those problems that we have with that will go away. You know, when you, when you have a – I think we had a 9-4 lead, 9-5 lead at half. 10, uh, 7-5 at the half. 7-5 at half, and then just a few minutes in. I know we were at 10-5 at one point. That kind of shows you that as we got tired and Salisbury had the backup legs, that they were able to consistently keep their game at a certain level, whereas we got tired, our game kind of went down uh, down from there, on partic in particular on the attacking end. Yeah. Yep. In, in the preseason, we kind of talked about how you might not have not have one big score, but sophomore Keely Bunce wanted to prove you wrong there and <laughs> scored five goals. She was yeah. named the MAC Offensive Player of the Week. Right. Jamie Bittner was named the MAC Defensive Player of the Week. She had seven mm -hmm. ground balls in mm -hmm. that game. Talk about their performance for you. Sure. Um, you know, Keely is a great attacker. She's got great instincts. She's a triple threat with the ball. She can drive past you. She can score. She can feed. She is ready to go every time she catches the ball. So one of the things that we do talk about is we utilize her as an example. So this doesn't come as an enormous surprise to me that she fared so well. Five goals, that's awesome. I mean, that is a lot of goals against a number nine team in the country. But it doesn't surprise me that she's been that successful. Um, She's got great, she's got great moves. She makes things happen. We're trying to utilize that experience on that film and help those girl, the other attackers realize everybody's got to be a threat with the ball in their stick. And we don't have that right now. We have about two girls that are a threat with the ball in their stick, maybe three. And that's not enough. Defenses are going to zero in on that. So these are all things that we're spending these next couple of weeks really trying to change. Yeah, this week you have McDaniel at home tonight. And then not to overlook McDaniel, but on Saturday, a big road game against the number yes. one team in the country, Gettysburg, defending national champs. What do you have to clean up th this week? we got to clean up the transition. We have, to, we have got to have a little more faith in each other catching and throwing. We've got to get some girls out on the field uh, doing a little extra practice on long throws. Um, we have to have confidence with that. You know, the, in, during the play days, we had such confidence with our clear – that I didn't address it maybe as much as I should have, but boy, it fell apart in the second half. And when you have only two or three people that you really trust making that long ball pass to, that's a problem. And we kind of showed that that was, that was an area of weakness for us. So uh, we made some adjustments. We made some tweaks in our clears, and we're going to hope that that fares well for us in these next two, two games. You know, Gettysburg is a great team. They're tremendously deep. Um, I think they have the best defense in the country. Um, you know, they're returning a lot of goal scorers. So, I, you know, we got to go out there and we just got to play hard. And we got to play hard for 60 minutes. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck Thank in both you. those games. We'll Thanks. see you back here next week. Thank you. For Coach Kathy Raley, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been the Kathy Raley Show.